Welcome back to another Rusty Bus video. In the last video we worked on raising the roof. If you didn't see the video, I'll put a link right here on the screen. In this video we're gonna be working on the transition on the roof right there. I have an idea. I've seen a few of these buses with the roof lift and they have the swoop. They put an angle on that and it just doesn't look right to me. So, what if, instead of having a swoopy swoop here, we just take one of these and put it right here. And I happen to know where there's a few of these we can steal them from. I see one right there that would be pretty cool. What do you think? <laughs> Verdict is yes. I decided it would be easier to cut the whole back of the bus off and bring it back to my shop versus grinding off all the rivets and taking the rear cap that we needed. So that's what we did. She's free. We got the piece that we needed. Now we just gotta grab the truck, throw it in the bed, and bring it back to the shop. Well, here we are, we're back at the shop, grinding off all the rivets, trying to get that cap off that we actually need. This is a very tedious, this took a very long time. There were a lot of rivets on that thing, which is why we decided to bring it back to the shop versus doing it there at the junkyard. Now, after grinding down all the heads of the rivets, we have to hammer out the rivets so that we can actually remove it. Pay no attention to the fallen soldier behind me. And there we have it, we got the cap we need. There were a few dents that needed to get hammered out, but there's nothing above being hammered a block of wood can't fix. And now we should be ready to throw it on the roof and see what we gotta cut off. Watch the, the technique that I used to get the radius of the roof was to take this piece of foam, kick it right into it, get a line in the foam, and then I just cut out the foam, hold that foam up to the piece of metal, cut that line, and there you go. This shit's thick. All right, now this should get perfect. <laughs> Just ignore all the noise in the background. The neighbors are they're doing something over there with a bunch of tractors digging holes. So you can see the transition piece is nice and flush with the roof. But if you notice, it's a little high in the front. I did that so that I can flange it one inch all the way across so I can have enough meat to rivet it down. So that's what we're gonna do now. Just a couple tools we're gonna need. This scribe and a pair of duckbill pliers. This one's a little feet up, but we're gonna mark it at one inch. Just nag that. And then you just go just like this. Uh, make sure that that is actually true to an inch, which it is. Let me just go. Then you take your duckbill pliers and you put it right on the line. Give it a nice eat. You just work it little by little.
And now we've got a nice flanged surface. We can drill some holes and send some rivets through. All right, now we got it back up on the roof. We'll give it a nice test fit. Oh, beautiful. Oh yeah, now we got it. Nice and level, perfectly flush. We have a little bit of work done right here, but other than that, we're ready to uh, start making these sides. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this masking tape, and we're just gonna make our, our uh, piece of metal out of tape first. Now we're gonna get some spray foam and some Bondo. And just, I'm just kidding. Now we're gonna take that down. Now we're gonna take our stencil, stick it down, try and square it up in the corner so we don't waste any. Now you can see there's a little bit of rippling going on right here. That's because this piece was at an angle. It was a little radius. Uh, this is okay. We're gonna cut that out and once I flange this a little bit, I'm gonna put it in the stretcher and that will give it the radius and that will be all perfect. It'll work out. More stretching needs to be done but before we do that I'm gonna take it to the brake and put in this little offset try and blend that in as well as I can now we're just gonna clean up this surface right here where we're gonna glue it down and rivet it All right, so now that we got it all cleaned up and ready for attachment, we're gonna use some liquid nails. It says it works, it says it bonds metal, so we're gonna put that to the test. And then once I'm done gluing it, we're gonna put the piece of metal back up here, drill holes, and rivet it. I hope I'm uh, on the line. All right, let's make a mess. That's actually pretty close. We got one. Fashionary. And there you have it. That's how I did the transition on the roof of my bus. If you like watching me work on this bus, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications because eventually, after the sides are done and I cut in the windows, we're gonna be cutting off the entire rear of the bus. We're gonna put a, a bifold ramp so I can drive choppers up in the back. Because like I said, this is gonna be a toy hauler. 